Are you close to retirement, or have you retired? Are you trying to make sense of your new life? Are you worried about being bored or losing your identity? This is my take on my career and eventual retirement. Regardless of your profession, I believe some of the lessons can apply to anyone. My career was law enforcement. I discovered there is life after the PD. What drives a person to become a police officer? For me, it was a deep-rooted desire to be part of something larger than myself, to contribute to society in a meaningful way. The allure of the excitement, the thrill of the chase, the making an arrest. It was a career that promised excitement, opportunity to help others, and fulfillment. The path to become a police officer was not an easy one. In fact, it was a journey full of challenges and hurdles. The competition was fierce. A thousand people put in for each academy. It felt like participating in a lottery where the prize was not just a job but a chance to fulfill a dream. The police academy was a world unto itself. It was a place that tested not just our physical strength, but our mental endurance too. We were pushed to our breaking points and then some. Every day was a test, a battle against fatigue, against pain, against our own doubts. But we were not alone in this journey. We supported each other, pushed each other, and together we grew stronger. Not everyone made it to the end of the academy. It was disheartening to see some of my fellow cadets give up their dream and walk away. I was not going to let doing hard exercise and being yelled at affect me for the rest of my life. I was determined to see this through. I decided I would graduate no matter hard it was. Being a police officer is not just a job, it's a commitment to serve and protect, even when the going gets tough. This was the reality I faced every day as I donned my uniform and stepped into the unpredictable world. My experiences on the job were as diverse. There were days filled with mundane paperwork and routine patrols, and then there were the adrenaline-fueled incidents that reminded me of the risks associated with the badge. I found a unique sense of camaraderie with my colleagues, a bond forged in the crucible of shared risks and mutual respect. We were more than just co-workers. We were a brotherhood and sisterhood, united in our mission to serve and protect our community. The satisfaction of serving the community was immense. There's nothing quite like the feeling of helping a lost child find their way home, or the relief in a victim's eyes when you arrive at the scene. The gratitude of the people I served was a constant reminder of why I chose this profession. But let's not sugarcoat it. The job had its fair share of challenges. I've witnessed the harsh realities of life, seen the underbelly of society that most people are fortunate enough to never encounter. I've seen the devastation wrought by violence, the despair in the faces of the victims, the helplessness of those caught in the throes of addiction. These experiences left indelible marks on me, shaping my worldview and testing my resolve. The job took a toll on me, physically and emotionally. The stress, the long hours, the constant exposure to trauma, they all weighed heavily on me. The badge felt heavier with each passing year. The job changed me, in ways I'm still discovering. Eventually the political environment soured. I won't get into the events or politics, but police were painted in an unfair and bad light. We were demonized and made to feel like we were the problem and the enemy. Many good officers began to leave law enforcement and we saw crime spike at the same time. Fortunately things are turning around again at the time of this video. Yet. Despite the hardships, I wouldn't trade my time in the force for anything. It's given me a perspective that few people have, a respect for the resilience of the human spirit, and a deep-seated gratitude for the ordinary moments of peace and tranquility. The job was tough and it changed me in many ways, but I wouldn't trade my time in the force for anything. A career in law enforcement is not just challenging for the individual, it also impacts their family. This truth was something I came to understand very early on in my career. The long hours, the unpredictable shifts, the missed birthdays and anniversaries, all became part of my family's reality. My job which I loved demanded a lot from me, and by extension, a lot from my family. My spouse and kids had to adapt to my irregular schedule, and the fact that I was often away from home, I had to miss school events, family time, and family meals because duty called. There were times that didn't always seem worth it. The nature of my job also meant that I couldn't share a lot of what I was dealing with at work. I saw things, experienced things that were too heavy, too dark to bring home. It was a tough balance, keeping work separate from home, but it was necessary to protect them, to keep the harsh realities of my job from overshadowing the warmth of our home. But it wasn't all sacrifice. There were also moments of immense pride. I was doing something meaningful, something bigger than myself. Two days before I retired, I was the only one nearby a medical emergency. 
I gave life-saving aid. A few days before my wife and I had a conversation. Was my career and our family sacrifice worth it? I told her about the medical emergency. Through teary eyes we realized it was definitely worth it for that family. These moments made the sacrifices worth it. My family and God were my rock throughout my career. They were my sanctuary, my safe haven from the harsh realities of my job. Their love, their support, their understanding was what kept me grounded, and for that, I am eternally grateful. It's important to remember though, that every family is different. It's about finding that balance, that sweet spot where you can fulfill your professional responsibilities without neglecting your personal ones. It's tough, but it's not impossible. Despite the challenges, my family was my rock, my sanctuary from the harsh realities of my job. Retirement is not just an end to a career, it's the beginning of a new chapter. As the days on the calendar dwindled down and the reality of retirement set in, a flurry of emotions washed over me. There was a sense of trepidation naturally. The thought of stepping away from a career that had defined me for over two decades was daunting. It felt like I was about to lose a part of my identity, and that was scary. But along with the fear, there was also a sense of excitement. I was standing on the precipice of a new era in my life, one that was entirely mine to shape. I had the freedom to explore new interests, to spend more time with loved ones, to simply enjoy the fruits of my labor. The transition to retirement, however, was not without its challenges. My kids wanted to tour the station one more time. They were going to miss the fond memories of being at the police station with me. We took pictures of spots where their favorite memories happened. They were sad to know they would not come back anymore. I was also sad to no longer be out to help my team and friends. As I left, I began to adjust to this new rhythm of life. I took up activities that I'd never had time for during my career. I spent more time outdoors, soaking up the tranquility of nature. I reconnected with old friends and went to retiree events. I also found that retirement gave me the opportunity to reflect on my career. I looked back at the highs and lows, the triumphs and the challenges, the people I'd met and the lives I'd impacted. I realized that while my career as a police officer was a significant part of my life, it didn't define me. I was more than just the badge I wore. Retirement has been a journey of rediscovery, a time to reflect on my career and look forward to new adventures. Retirement, I've discovered, is not about ending. It's about beginning, beginning to explore, beginning to dream, beginning to live on your own terms. Looking back, I've learned a lot from my career as a police officer. It was more than just a job. It was a calling, a mission to serve and protect. I saw the best and worst of humanity, and it shaped me in ways I never anticipated. The excitement and camaraderie, the challenges and hardships, they all left an indelible mark. Stepping into retirement was a major shift. Leaving behind the daily grind, the uniform and the people was hard. I also find that I had time for home projects, gym workouts, pictures to organize, outdoor recreation opportunities and in my case, very part-time work. I will not be running out of work to do anytime soon. I even started a new YouTube channel and uploaded this AI-assisted video. Please hit like and subscribe if you like this video. Retirement opened up a new chapter of life, full of possibilities. My wife has to work for little longer, but I have taken over many of her home responsibilities. She now has more time to rest on weekends and after work. I've also learned that the skills we gain as law enforcement has a lot of application in the business world. Retired police have a lot of opportunities to pursue new, even part-time business adventures or employment. The lessons I've learned? Embrace change, it's the only constant in life. Stay connected with your colleagues, they're your second family. Remember to take care of yourself, physically and mentally. Life is a journey, and it's up to us to make the most of each stage. No one at the end of their lives wished they spent more time in the office. So, whether you're near retirement or have recently retired, remember to embrace the change and look forward to the opportunities it brings. There is no reason to sit at home and be bored.